I'm on the on the WWE Twitter right now, and man, thank you, Undertaker. It says right here, thank you, Undertaker, mm. and also Billy Kay tweeting about the Undertaker and. Peyton tweeting about The Undertaker. What's the one word that comes to mind when you think of The Undertaker? See where this is going, everybody? Mm-hmm. We'll talk about this more tomorrow. But I did I did somewhat predict this a little while ago, where I thought this was going to end up. But, well, yeah, you had a but 50, who knows? On that. Who yeah. knows? Actually, no, I had I I I had uh like five percent if you watched the first four episodes. Oh, stop. Quite frankly. And even yeah. even though the conclusion is what the conclusion is, I still could be wrong. <laughs> well, it's, it is, it's a ring to sport, whether it be uh Ah, what the hell? It's out, everybody. It's out. Yeah. He's, he claims he's retired. And listen, I haven't watched it yet, okay? I have not watched episode five yet. I'm going to watch it today. We'll talk about it tomorrow. And we'll talk about it specifically on the Filthy Tom Lawler show because we're going to go into into great detail on it. But I will say, if you listen to last week's Filthy show, I said episode four was different. Episode one, episode two, episode three, and all three of those, The Undertaker kept claiming, you know, if I just have that one match, if I just do this, if I just do that, I'll be happy. And it was like, bro... You're lying to yourself. You can't get out. But episode four was the first one I watched where I thought, you know what? You know where I think they're going here? I think that he's going to have that match with AJ. And when that match is over, he's going to feel satisfied. And he's going to say that he's done. Remember we had this discussion, Mike? I said, hey, hey, Mike, wouldn't Mm -hmm. it be weird in five years if Undertaker's wrestling at WrestleMania and you can go on the network and there's a documentary called The Last Ride and he's still out here wrestling and you said, oh, well, there was a Michael Jordan or whatever last ride. Remember this? I remember this. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, Am. well, yeah. Well, it looks like the whole point of this last ride is mm-hmm. because the conclusion is it was his last ride. Oh, and he's, yeah? he's done with that AJ Styles match. Mm. Now, will okay. he be? Honestly... You cannot say that he's retired until he is legitimately in the grave. But the conclusion of the series is that he believes he is now satisfied. And let me, if you're listening right now, Undertaker, let me tell you something. Are you listening to me? You're not, but if you are, listen. You made it very clear in that documentary that you should have retired when Shawn Michaels did. You said those words. Why? Because that match was great. And for years, you told him afterwards, you got out at the right time. You remember this? I remember this. So now you believe that that match with AJ Styles, which I and others, not these crazy people that thought the Firefly Funhouse was the best, but me and all the smart people said the Boneyard match was was the best match on WrestleMania weekend. Now's your chance to back up your own words and walk away on a great one. We'll see what happens. <laughs> you better hope he does that because he may wait out that 15-year WWE contract that he has signed just to wait for your ass and beat you on a GCW show or a Defy show or something like that after you cut a promo on The Undertaker like that. And let me tell you something. When you said The Undertaker could go into the ground and that's the only way he's going to truly retire, not true. He's The Undertaker. And let's see what they've done with all of the bells and whistles and 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 you know holograms and and cinematic presentations can you imagine where they're going to go with this stuff at some point with the the rights to the items that they do hold i mean come on the undertaker could come back for that he could come back far sooner and who's to say what retired really is with cinematic presentations of wrestling if the undertaker happens to show up and shadow aj styles the rest of his career once a year in a wacky a match or something like that could you see them doing that i could does that mean he's truly retired 
I don't know. What does it even mean to be retired in pro wrestling? Because much like boxing or MMA or, or whatever, people always come back. They cannot help themselves. They miss that rush. They miss all of the things that come with it, including the money and some of the things like that. And maybe we don't see The Undertaker back actually physically in a Saudi Arabian ring anymore. But I could see The Undertaker truly never actually going you're, away, even you're if right. he physically isn't. You're right, but let me tell you something, okay? And The Undertaker, you better be listening to this one, too. Oh boy! Episode four, if I believe, if I recall correctly, it was episode four. It opened up with memories of that Saudi Arabia match where Shawn Michaels actually did come back after he had legitimately retired and turned down offer after offer after offer after offer. Do you remember what happened to that match? To a man, every single one of them said, "My God, what a what a disaster! It was it was a nightmare. It was like a, a comedy of errors." So of all people, Undertaker should know. Shawn Michaels and all of them thought, going to be a night off. We're just coming back. It's just going to be DX versus the Brothers of Destruction. What could possibly be easier? Well, everyone nearly killed themselves in that match. and There were injuries, and it was a disaster. So of all people, the Undertaker should know. The guy that he kept saying, Shawn, you made the right choice. You made the right choice. You made the right choice. Well, at some point, Shawn made the wrong choice. Undertaker should know not to make that same mistake. This person says, Undertaker retired? I'll believe it when I see it. Well, watch the show tonight. That's what he says. And you know what? You know who else is retired? Me. But if I had the chance to wrestle The Undertaker, I would, in fact, come back to wrestle The Undertaker. That's the amount of respect I have for that man, even though, even though he is also retired. That's a man that I trust implicitly in the ring. I would have a match with him any day. Man, who do you trust more, him or Lance Storm? Well, quite frankly, probably Lance because he's he's younger with significantly fewer injuries. You see those these selfies he's uh, posting enough I, of himself. I, well, yeah, I will say that if if I had to have the Undertaker tombstone me or Lance Storm tomb, tombstone me, I would choose the Undertaker. Well, he's much taller, at least. All due too, respect, and... but I would have Lance super kick me before I would have the Undertaker super kick me. Well, <laughs> yes, because the Undertaker known for his super kicks. Yes. First says the last ride finale was great, but there's no chance when fans are back in arenas and stadiums, Taker isn't at WrestleMania or a Saudi show. Well, I you know, I also predicted that no matter what happened, nobody was gonna believe it if it ended up that he was retiring. And why would you? If you watched all five episodes, I watched four so far, and I find it incredibly hard to believe we'll never see the guy wrestle again. That was like the whole story of it, as he kept saying Oh, I'm I'm satisfied. Oh, I got dragged back. Oh, I'm sad. Oh, I got dragged back again. We'll see. We'll see.